Brought you a crit damage buff. Sparkle crit damage buff right here. As Sigonia said. We have 339 crit damage from 100 crit rate, basically. Dear God, how much else would this be, man? Hello, Internet! Gosh, you're so squishy. But before the video even starts, um, this will be the result of the giveaway. I've got that random color picker from last video. So, yeah, I've got it on screen right now. I'll be DMing the winner to Discord. And, yeah, so if you're the winner here, you're watching this video, congratulations. Anyways, with the newest update, there's also some new sets. We got a Sagonia Unclaimed Desolation set. I looked at this, I'm like, wow, how is this okay? You can get up to 40% crit damage, plus the 4 crit rate. Of course, there is the caveat of you having to defeat enemies, so up to 10 enemies actually if we're gonna get a full stack but technically speaking if you can get the 10 stack isn't this just the best set of all time you're not gonna get a set with 40 crit damage anywhere else dude which is why we have dan hang here another thing that i'd like to advocate is just having high crit now my crit damage isn't even that high crit rate is really really high though but you know what i'm gonna do what if i just have everything with sparkle i should get enough for almost 100 crit on my dill both bronya and sparkle buff crit damage as well plus the sagonia set including the fact that the enemy has a lot of summoning stuff right we got a source on yanchi we got a wood guy spawning their kids for me to kill them. One whole year later, it's the anniversary. We're still shitting on Yan Cheng. Pretty sure this set is just good against Yan Cheng in general. So yeah, <laughs> that guy just does not stop catching strays. And here we go. We have Imbibiter, Yan Heng. Well, firstly, let's take a look at the stats. Uh, I, I may have too much crit rate, guys. Oh no. This is perfect though, because I have my sparkle um, crit rate buff on him. So this is the perfect set. Let's go ahead and push the Dan Heng. You're gonna notice this damage right here should be quite a lot. I also just realized my sparkle should have been faster. Why is sparkle one action slow? Well, I don't know much I can do, but this should be a ton of damage. Look at this. 200k on, like, you know, no crit damage buff yet. Pretty dang impressive, though. But that's not the main point. Sagonia said that's the first stack. Now we have plus 4 crit damage. It's nothing yet. I need to get the freaking 40. That is when the damage will shoot, like, way up. Now, thankfully, as well, you don't have to kill the enemies with the wearer of Sagonia said. You just have, you just need them to be defeated. That's all you gotta do. That should mean as long as I kill the two elites, I should have all four characters defeated. Plus the Trotter earlier, that should be five stacks total. We're gonna actually just go full Q and this time I'm gonna just dunk in the ulti. I, I think I can zero cycle if I do this. We shall find out though. Here comes the massive dragon from the sky. How much damage are we doing? 92k on an ult. Pretty solid. We have a turn with Branya. Why are you so fast, huh? Don't mind if I do. Let me just do this. Get my crit damage buff now. Branya crit damage buff. Sparkle crit damage buff right here. As Sigonia said. That is the entire idea of today's video. We should be doing a crit turn now. Let's take a look at this. We have 339 crit damage from 100 crit rate basically. Dear Dear God, how much else would this be, man? Drill them with your green protruding dragon. 200k only, ah. Uh. You know what? It's still okay. We are zero cycling the first wave, which should just be good anyway. Here comes the Giga Nuke and Yay, 200k again. I'm doing really consistent damage now. It's 200k every time. Hell yeah. Now, problem. I'm running out of skill points. Damn it. I can only use the basic. And here comes the sword. Now, I will check Sigonia later, but if I'm able to beat the swords, I have my deal with Max Sigonia. Right now, I got 204 with three stacks of Sigonia only. So, does that mean it only counted the two elites and the Trotter as kills? So, the Minions doesn't count? Why don't they count? What the crud? Oh, I'm on a skill point again, so I can only do a kick here. After this, we'll have our max everything, though, so we should be fine. Right, now, this sword should die. Does that count, though? That should count. That sword that just died right there should be my fourth Sigonia, right? And it is my third Sigonia. Huh. Does that not count? Are you kidding me? Does these swords not count as enemies? I'm so confused right now. Well, not much I can do, but to keep going, I suppose. We'll, we'll try this out this time. I have a turn with Dale. I should be able to murder both the swords. I have three stacks of Sigonia right now. I should get to five if, if I have to defeat them with Dill, that is. But that's two down. I have five stacks of Sigonia now. Well, at least right now I got 20 crit damage, so this set is starting to rack up in terms of value, but I would say in MOC, at least what I'm like going through right now, I'm serving. In MOC, it's really just not that good, right? But that was also 270k. Not too shabby, eh? Can we get the zero cycle, though? Oh, man. I'm so close to getting energy. If I had it, maybe. But this should still be like a one cycle, which is actually pretty dang good. Wait, now that I wiped out everything, what happens to my Sigonia? Six stacks now. The six stack is from killing the Trotter, right? Here comes the Mega Nuke. There should be a lot of damage now. 270k again. It's so, like, consistent. That's why you want 100 crit rate. Push you up again. And this time, I'll just... Dunk in the freaking dragon. With seven stacks of Sigonia, I'm doing 47k on one person. Oh god, that's not that good. 300 crit damage, baby. With seven stacks of Sigonia, I'm almost certain, unless I max it out, otherwise I might as well just use freaking Rutilet. Well, let's see the damage here. If I can get like, you know, 200k something on one guy, then that's actually kind of good, but I doubt it. Yeah, it's only 100. Uh, I don't know about this set, guys. Or rather, I should say, it's definitely not a set for this mode. Can I even deal with Yantrim right now? How much damage would this be? Two 
percent and i don't even get a turn so that means i need to take one more cycle oh gosh dang it i mean we're killing them here we go got him and that is what sagonia is working to be right now it is a two cycle clear it's solid the word reads when an enemy target gets defeated i get the stack so wouldn't the minions count does the minion not count if the minion from the first wave from the wood guy counted i should just have five stacks move into the entering phase so that was kind of weird maybe i have to madly defeat them rather than having them just die because i ended the boss I i'm not sure guys but you know what guys that was mlc i would just give it to you straight i don't think that is worth it to bring it into mlc considering what if it's just one singular boss right imagine if we're up against sam he's only like one guy plus a delete that would just not be that good for sigonia but what would be good is pure fiction i believe in pure fiction where enemies are just keep spotting and stuff this should be where sigonia's hit would excel the most but then again when i think about it why would anyone want to farm a set like this just to clear pure fiction right unless the difference is insanely high. So what we have here is a Herda with the Sigonia set. Now, before the fight of his starts, I feel like we already have like multiple stacks of them, so that's kind of nice. Here comes an ulti, but before that, let's check our Sigonia stacks. I already have four stacks. Now, this is my first action I was able to say. I already have four stacks, right? So I can see how this is like a pure fiction only set then, or maybe in some certain niche stages of MLC, but either way, here comes the damage though. Everyone is cleared now because, you know, Himiko is just broken like that. Yeah, we, we don't even get a shot at you. Yo, let me play the game. Okay, we finally killed in the herd all. Let's just see what Sigonia looks like. Eight stacks now. I'm at 200 crit damage with no help whatsoever. While only in Pure Fiction where everything just dies instantly. But here comes the big damage. Yay, yeah, yeah, 100k into more Himiko. Into Kurikuru. Hell yeah. Right, with that LT, I should have max Sigonia out, right? And yeah, there we go. 10 Sigonia. This is 40% crit damage. I'm getting 233 in total. This is without any crit damage buffer. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of pretty good now. We'll keep going and see how much as we finish. But dude, Himiko is still just doing as good. I don't got Sigonia on Himiko. She's just doing a lot anyway, so. And we are already at the final step. <laughs> Isn't this kind of crazy? I mean, given it's Himiko Herda, of course it would be. Now that Himiko with the gash Nick EM will have Herda using her skill for the first time ever, I think. Here's a skill. You should have some Kurukuru in you, right? No Kurukuru at all. What the crud? Is my herd dead? This is the max Sagonia stack. This should be the best form of damage you could do. Imagine if I had a sparkle here. She would have just got like 350 crit damage right now. But either way, here comes the damage. This, this needs to be a lot though. And again, 150. Yes, I have a lot of crit damage. But for the fact that I need to kill 10. And for the fact that Hibiko without Sagonia is just doing well anyway. Up till this point, I'm not sure what to set us like truly truly for is there really a reason for you to pull up to you know farm for this i'm not sure what i am sure though is maybe if it has sagonia you get a higher aggro value on you because i don't know why they're all targeting gosh dang herda for god's sake so annoying <laughs> i already died oh, that was mainly just a test we know that sagonia works very well in perfection in terms of just getting the criteria in having 10 enemies defeated and finally let me just test this one more time we got sagonia until this time do i have to kill the mobs for me to get the stacks or not if i just cleared away by killing the two elites the mobs that this wood guy spawned would die as well and that technically means they're defeated right they're defeated i should have five stacks is that not right? Well, we'll find out soon. Right now, I've only got one stack to go there because I only killed the Trotter. So this will go, this will likely kill the mob, maybe, right? Or, or at least get to the respawn. Not quite yet. Now, for experiment's sake, we have to kill the mob. Here comes the hit on the freaking mobs, though. Okay, they're, they're gonna revive. Does that count, actually? Because technically, they're defeated and then they just came back. And no, yep, <laughs> it's only one stack. I'm gonna target a right most one because this means I killed the one in the middle and I should get two stacks, right? And yes, it is the two stacks. And now pushing you up again, we're gonna kill the wood guy if i am correct after i kill the wood guy i'll only get one extra stack of sagonia because the mob would despawn and that doesn't mean it's defeated which kind of makes no sense to me here we go with the deal oh, i should be to kill the wood guy here that means one extra stack and the mob that despawns here it doesn't count yes and yep i was right those mobs does not count you have to actually defeat the mob that is so annoying though what about the trotter if my allies beat them does that count as a stack for me let's find out and there we go that is that one trotter does that count as a Sagonia. It does count. I went from three to four here. Okay, I think the experiment is done here. And here's where I can share to you my opinions on this. I do not think this relic is worth it at all, in my opinion. Now, from the color palette, you would think, oh, maybe it's for Aventurine, but I really can't imagine Aventurine just being good on this as well. The four crit rate, like a lot of other sets could give you even more crit rate than four. 
anymore. Crit damage is nice, but you have to beat 10 enemies beforehand. You have to actually manually beat them instead of just hitting the boss for them to despawn. Then you might as well just put the normal Rudal Arena on the freaking destruction characters with the multi-target hits. You'll probably clear it just as fast, if not faster. The issue with this set is just that it takes way too long for you to stack up. Even as I fought the Yanching stage with a lot of minions, a lot of summons, I find that I might as well just kill the boss themselves. Before I even get to 10 stacks, I, I would already defeated Yanching, so might as well keep my Rudal in. Not that it's that big of a change anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna be absolutely real, guys. I suggest against going for the Sigonia side. Consider the dungeon also has Izumo set for Akron, but it's only for Akron. And, well, you could just in ourselves out anyway. And uh, yeah, in conclusion, I don't think you want to farm World 9. In terms of value, they sound good, but the criteria makes them a bit more finicky with easily the same path, right? But most of the time, your damage healer that's from Destruction Path would never pair two Destruction Paths in one team. Like, the only one I can think of is Blade Jing Liu, but then again, Jing Liu alone plus, like, a bunch of stuff that makes her hyper can probably still do better. Then we have the Sigonia set, which for the criteria to be killing 10 enemies, the 40 crew damage is very good, but you nearly never get to 10 unless it's perfection. But then again, would you tell yourself, oh, I'm fighting perfection, let me swap my Sigonia in, oh, I'm fighting MOC now, let me swap it out. It's not too convenient, in my opinion. It's a little bit finicky, as I said. But if you're a chaser of the peak of numbers, you want them. I think both of them has the highest beef. If you can match their criteria, that'll be all for today. This will be a more simple video. I've got way too much things going on IRL as well. Congrats to the giveaway winner as well. I'll be DMing you soon. Do join the Discord if you're interested in giveaways such as these. And do suggest me how I can make it better. I have never done it before, so I'm not sure. Yeah, comment down below any ideas you have as well. Sometimes I turn them into videos. And for now, that is all. Take care.